Hey guys, I want to show you something today that I'm kind of excited about. This is my DIY GoPro tray. And you may have seen these before. They let you mount one or several GoPros and you use two hands on it so it's a little bit more steady than normal. You can mount accessories on there with lights and stuff like that. Uh, the difference with mine is that it actually is folding. You loosen the knob down here and then the plates fold. Um, this makes it a little bit more compact when you're traveling and um, just just a little bit different than other, other trays. So you can see when it's folded, it's pretty small. When you have it in its regular unfolded position, um, the angle is adjustable here. So you can have it wide or you can have it narrow, whatever you want. Um, pretty easy to adjust. Then you just tighten it down and it's locked in position. It's got two extra holes here, so you can put two GoPros right here you, facing a different direction if you want different angles, or you could have them facing forward if you want just duplicate material just to make sure you get the shots. Um, you could also mount lights here, and um, you can mount lights on the ends of the, of the grips like a lot of people do. The cutouts here just kind of make it look a little bit better, and you can also put a lanyard around here if you're diving with it just to keep it from falling away from you. The plates themselves are uh, a part that I have come up with and I'm selling. Uh, I'll put all the full parts list in the description below and where, to, where you can buy all the stuff. Here's another way to build it. Obviously just a single side. Um, just use it with one hand. You could still use two GoPros or lights. Um, that's kind of the cool thing about this system is it's modular. You know, you could add another side later if you want to and expand it, but uh, just build it however you want to. And here's one more version before we get into the how to build. Um, this one is only different by having the shorty grips. Uh, these are 90 millimeter grips and it just makes it a little more compact when it's, when it's folded and when you're using it. Um, uh, these grips I probably won't be selling because they're they're fairly expensive. These are lizard skin shorties. Um, they're just a little bit harder to find and more expensive, but uh, makes for a really cool tray since they're so short. But um, anyway, we're gonna get into the the how to build here. This thing's pretty easy to assemble, so I think I think you'll like it. So the assembly of the tray is pretty easy. It starts off with these aluminum arms, the basis for the tray. Um, you can see that there are some machining marks on here. Uh, you can leave these as is if you want. You can use them just like this, or you can paint them, or you could polish it, sand them and polish them if you want, just whatever you feel like doing. From there, you need lock-on grips or locking grips. They have these lock rings on both sides. You gotta have rings on both sides. Um, then you need half-inch CPVC caps. These are CPVC, not PVC. Uh, you drill a quarter inch hole in the center, and then you need one for each side of the grip. So one's already in there, slides in here. Just make them flush with the end, and then tighten down the, the locking screw. What that does is it keeps the grip centered on the bolt that we're gonna put through here. These bolts are zinc coated, but if you want to use this in salt water or even fresh water, if you're going to use it in there a lot, uh, you might want to go for a stainless uh, hardware. Just slip that through the plate and then insert the grip over here like that. And then you need these threaded rings. These are um, rings, they're adapted for a hot shoe on a DSLR camera. Um, they come as a two pack and they just work perfectly for the end caps. They're threaded quarter 20. So you just thread them on like that and tighten it down. And that keeps the grip real tight against the plate and makes the grip real solid. So that's, that's one arm. Uh, here's a, a duplicate arm. You need a, th a thumb screw, quarter 20 thumb screw, and a lock washer. Put that on first. Then that goes through the bottom plate 
And then you need a, a real thin piece of rubber. This is a piece of bicycle inner tube. It works really well. Just slip it on there, put the two together, and then you just thread on a regular GoPro tripod adapter. So just thread that on, and then you just tighten it down in whatever position you want. And that's basically it. You got the tray. Um, pretty easy to build, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, if you don't have the lock washer in, below here and the rubber in between, uh, the plates tend to fold a little bit too easily. So those are important. Um, if you want to put another GoPro on here, you just need another tripod adapter and a, a thumb screw and just slip it through like that. Um, pay attention to how long the threads are on the thumb screws. I'll put that in the description. But if they're too long, then you can't tighten the, tighten the uh, tripod adapters down. So anyway, it's pretty easy to build. Um, thought you guys might be interested. Kind of, kind of a fun product. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me know just like normal. And if you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing.